Hey guys, it's me, Clunge for X there, and I'm here doing another custom Lego minifigure review. Today we have a combo of a kind of a military SWAT minifigure, so let's get started. Alright guys, so we're going to start by going over the minifigure, just kind of going over what different pieces I used, why I used them, and whatnot. So let's start off with the vest. As you can see here, it has a Brick Arms Black Modern Combat vest, as you can see there. Now, what I did to get kind of that, I think you can see it there, that gunmetal-ish tint, you can definitely see it on the front pouches there. But basically what I did was I just took a paintbrush and some gunmetal paint and I basically dry brushed it. So as you can see there, it adds a little bit of detail. You should have seen the before and after. It definitely added a lot of detail there. So that's one good technique to add a little bit of detail to plain pieces. Same with like the weapon. This is my own custom UMP 45 and it added a lot of detail when I just took a simple dry brush to it and it makes it look like a little bit more worn instead of like a brand new weapon off the assembly line. So that definitely added some well needed detail on this figure. And then moving on, so the head is just my Russian support minifigure head. So it's just a black head. It actually has, actually this one doesn't have double sided printing, but uh, I think the other ones have the chin strap wrapped around all the way to the back. So, and then for the helmet, I believe this is a minifig cat fast helmet. So this is basically the standard kind of American um, helmet and actually if I set this aside here this was actually a green color as you can see in there and I actually took a matte black paint and painted this whole thing as you can see I did kind of purposely scrape it in a few locations like there on the corners of the night vision mount so I did that kind of to show you know if you're in the military things are gonna get scratched up and whatnot so I wanted to kind of show that especially with the dry brushing like I said and then as far as the arms, you're probably wondering how the heck does he have those sleeves? Now these are actually not the Lego like overmolded sleeves. These are actually tiny tactical sleeves. So if I can take those off without dropping it, it's this little piece here that slides on over the arm. You don't need to glue it, but you can if you want. See it just clipped right on there. And uh, it adds a lot of detail there and they come in a bunch of different colors, so that's pretty cool. And then, as far as gloves, I just gave them regular black gloves. I was going to paint something on them, but I decided not to. You know, keep in, like, I have my color scheme here, and the color scheme is pretty much black and, I'd say, dark bluish gray, light bluish gray, so gray and black. So, that's a really nice color scheme. And then, as far as the legs go, we do have a camo. Now, this is a sponge camo, and I'll probably be doing a video on how you can do that. But, as you can see there... Let's see if I can get a better view. There you go. So it's just a sponge camo on light bluish gray legs with dark bluish gray paint. There's a good view of the side with this cloth strap that wraps all the way around and even inside. So that looks really good. That, good. That's for the um, knee pads there. Those are tiny tactical. Once again, dry brush those to add a little wear and tear to them. And then he just has standard um, dark tan boots. So that's pretty cool. And uh, that's pretty much it for this figure. It's a really cool figure, really basic. I wanted it to do something pretty modern-ish, but with a little spin on it. So I think it turned out pretty cool. Maybe it would be better with an assault rifle or something, but kind of thought the UMP45 looked pretty good with it. So other than that, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of the minifigure. Do you like the weapon choice? Do you like the helmet choice? Do you like the color scheme? Let me know. Love to hear your feedback, and let me know if you want me to keep doing these. So I will see you guys in the next video.